Hey, I'm Serena from Frugalistas. Frugal Daddy has done a ton, ton of curbside shopping lately and has found some really, really good stuff, which I'm gonna show you starting with this carpet. So here we go with this very large wool carpet with this kind of modern geometrical design. It comes with its own beautiful dog. And this is, this is a nice carpet and it was cleaner before it came into our house and our little muddy dog paws went marching across it. But I think what we're gonna do is roll up this rug and save it flash. when this carpet becomes so trashed by the animals that this one goes bye-bye and then we have a new one to fill in its space. And here's the most exciting thing. Of course, there's a reason why they threw it out. And I know that looks like vomit, which if it was, would be pretty easy to clean. It's actually spilled dried paint which Frugal Daddy is gonna to try to soften and get up, but I don't particularly care because when this rug is in the living room, that spot will be under that sofa. We've got this large framed poster of Times Square in about 1940. Woot, woot, look at that. It's like going back in time. Three stuffed animals, all with their tags still on, very colorful. The unicorn is huge. And then we have the elephant and the leopard. They look to me to be those kind of animals you can win at a carnival because they have these little loops. They each have a little loop, like they would be hanging. And you know how they hang the prizes at those carnival games where you, th you know, I don't know what you do. You throw a ball at milk bottles or something and win a prize. I think these are that sort of thing. Three chances for a dollar, win a leopard, win a leopard. I like the elephant the best, it's just a baby. There's this big throw blanket. I just tossed it over a big chair so you can see the pattern. It looks like some African ladies sewing a quilt together. And it's in perfect shape, there's nothing wrong with this throw blanket. We've got a Keurig coffee maker here. Frugal Daddy tested it out, put some water in it. Perfect for that grad school apartment. We have this very heavy marble looking little box tray. I personally thought put a couple little pots of herbs or flowers or something and put it on a windowsill for what daddy thinks it's the perfect place to put mail. Oof, it's really quite heavy. We've got this basket, which looks like it's in pretty good shape. It's very much of that Longaburger basket style, but it does not say Longaburger on it. It's got one little break right there, but overall, I mean, I've used baskets in much worse shape. I think that's in pretty good shape. I think that would be better to put mail in because then larger pieces of mail would also fit. And this beaut, this pot, very cool. I want to use this for strawberries, you know, and have different strawberry plants coming out of each hole to prove that he wants me to put flowers in it. But I'm really thinking of expanding my strawberry farm and this pot is part of that expansion effort. Then we have what looks like a lot of boy clothes here. Little polo shirt, pajama bottoms, t-shirt, t-shirt, little pants. These all look like they'd be for a two or three year old maybe. These are little. Cat and Jack, that's Target. Ah, oh, it's a little dinosaur shirt. So, lots of little kid clothing here. Ooh, this is Azarino. Look at that. I'm donating all this to the Vietnam vets who are coming today to pick up a donation, so I need to organize this quickly. There's a sweater that does not look like a little boy sweater. And then a second box of little boy clothing. Oh, look how adorable these little rain boots are. Oh, they're so cute. Pants, pants, ah, oh, Christmas pajamas. Little wild animal soft pajamas. So, all of, oh, this is all pajamas down here. Lots and lots. Okay, so all this boy clothing, quite a lot. Let me get that in the bag to donate right now. Oh, look, little snow monster, guys. Wait, look at these little 4T pajamas from Carter's with a little, ah, oh, Christmas dinosaurs. And the tag is still on. Originally $20, they got these for $8, and and never even wore them. I just want to show you <laughs> the top of our little cupboard up there. How did you get up there, little kitty? Hello, hello. 
So I just put this canvas bag on the new carpet to show you. So where does the cat want to come hang out? I mean, oh, just a flattened bag on the floor? Yes, that's what I have to sit on. He's my best friend. Anyway, this is kind of a nice little tote bag. I mean, it's worn a bit. I'm going to throw it in the wash. Doing a ton of laundry today for, I don't know. What reason? I don't know. I do a ton of laundry every day. I don't understand it. Anyway, I just think this is a cool little bag. I have so many different crocheting and knitting projects and needlepoint and just, you know, you know, you know, crafty needle people, you need bags to keep your various projects in. Tidy, away from cats. Next, Frugal Daddy found these four Danish modern dining room chairs, which are perfect to go with our Danish modern table. They all had this black pleatherette kind of seat cover that somebody had done, and you can see that they have an interesting lightning pattern on that one. Frugal Daddy already took the black cover off that one. It had one also, and that's the foam cushion that was underneath. Oh, which we okay, Marka. Marka likes the chairs. We're going to try to recover them with a sort of white pleatherette. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Frugal Daddy found one of those fancy, expensive foot and leg massagers. Does it work, Frugal Daddy? It works. Oh, I can see the roller going over the top so of your little that. foot. Leg massage. Different speeds. There's feet. Wow. That's excellent for people who have to work standing up all day. Can you imagine? Well, you used to do that kind of work. Yeah, and I always wanted one of these. Happy Father's Day, a little bit early to you. scooby doo scooby doo Frugal Daddy's already taken this out of the package and tested it, so we know it works, and it didn't really go back in exactly the way it was found, but does the scrubbing for you, scum buster. Yeah, baby, perfect for the tub and tile. Nine accessories. That doesn't even look like it's ever been used. Oh, here you go. You sort of hold it like an iron, and then that spinny thing. We go there. Frugal Daddy found two vintage plastic file cabinets and a boat, a little racing boat. I said, Frugal Daddy, don't you want to wipe that boat off before I film it? And then he just started tinkering around with the engine and the mechanical bits inside. He got the locking clamp for when we have to do frugal home surgery. And this 12-piece file and rasp set. I mean, I, I, I never ever had a file and rasp set before. Didn't you use that to grate nutmeg? He found this white I Dream of Genie bottle, some kind of decanter, and this little storage unit. Well, it's actually two separate, two separate things, but with some party supplies and a little witch hat for your favorite cat or an elf hat. This is one that says break room decor, balloons, weights in cabinet. No more parties in the break room, I guess. Oh, that's a lot of balloons. There's a lot of balloons in there. All right, we are set for our birthday parties. Well, there you go, Frugalises and Dumpsterinos. That's the score for the day. And where is Frugal Daddy, you're wondering? Well, we'll see you all again really soon. Take care, everybody. Stay safe. We love you. Bye!